Mr. Peralta's not here right now, but if you want to be sponsored by a skate shop, you'll need to impress the writers on his team. If you get us to sign off on you, you're in. Alright, so we're going ahead and listening to Chad Muska's suggestion to impress uh, some local writers, and then maybe we'll get sponsored by Stacy Peralta. So here's the first goal. Let's see if you got the cojones to impress Stacy Peralta. Meet me on the roof. Use the quarter pipe to get up to roof height, then hold left and jump off your board onto the roof. Nicely done. Now I want you to transfer between the houses. To transfer, come down the ramp and angle yourself so your jump carries you across the space between the houses. Oh, and uh, carefully you don't overshoot. I don't want to have to scrape you off an Elm Street. Yeah, I don't want to fall on the concrete on my face. That would be a nightmare. Nice! Now spine back down and I'll tell Mr. Brock that you've got skills. So skate up the quarter pipe, catch air, spine transfer, and land in the quarter pipe below. You can actually get a lot of rotations from doing spine transfers down, and you can also get your air transfers from going across those rooftops. You're Joey, right? Hey, I'm looking to get sponsored by Mr. Peralta, too. Right on. Well, let's see what you got. I got three little tests I give newbies. So go up one side of the little trash bike we got going and spine transfer. Why into the trash? I mean, I went off the roof. I don't want to smell like shit after this. Come on, man. Cool. Now do a flip trick as you spine into the trash. Let's see some variety. I'm gonna yell out tricks and you're gonna do them. If you can. So just land all the tricks that is on the list here. Do two or three at a time. You should have enough time to land all the tricks. The only thing that might potentially trip you up in this goal is the spine transfer kickflip into the trash. Just make sure you don't press the left trigger too early or else you might do a, a pressure toe flip thing. And you don't want that because that's not what he asked for. Got to do the right trick. And that's pretty much it for this goal. So you want to be sponsored, huh? You got to be able to put up big numbers under pressure. Think you can handle it? Yeah, sure. No problem. Okay then, let's see what you can do using our setup here. So basically just copy and paste my advice from the uh, goal where you're supposed to, you know, do the battle against Eric or whatever. Um, I find it kind of funny that I only have to get 100,000 in this area and in the first chapter I had to get 150,000 to impress Chad Muska. You're local, right? Dude, I go to school with your sister. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Then you should know these lines. So you'll probably need at least five tries to hit them like I do. That was kind of a weird conversation. I go to school with your sister. Haha, <laughs> yeah, okay. I swear, people in Jersey are freaking weird, man. What? It took me six months to hit that line. Well, whatever, probably a fluke. See if you can hit this. I feel kind of bad that I mastered this guy's lines in like... 30 seconds and he took six months to complete these things I mean god but honestly these lines shouldn't be considered crazy by any means because you can conserve your rail balance and just use combo runouts keep running up to rails and then eventually you'll get it done easy hey Sean what are you doing out here Shh, the dealers took off with some gear from the shop I'm trying to figure out how to get it back well, where'd they take it their place on Elm yeah left it on the front porch Looks like I'm gonna have to sneak over to Elm Street to get it back. I must be nuts. They're all over the neighborhood. Most of them are pretty fried, so it should be easy to stay out of earshot. But they're unpredictable and dangerous. It's my neighborhood. I'll do it. You know who's also in this neighborhood? The police. Literally, they're chilling on the bridge over there. They could just take care of this with one phone call. But anyways... Uh, two paths, either run along the rooftops or use the wires. You'll have more time if you use the roofs and it's safer, uh, but you can also use the wires. Eric, what are you doing here? Well, look, I got the stuff back. Awesome, uh, you should get back to Peralta's before you get caught. What about you? Me? Oh, God, I gotta finish doing something here. These guys are gonna pay. Looking for the owner, Mr. Peralta? Wait, are you THE Stacy Peralta? That's me. You the guy my skaters have been talking about? Well, I hope so. I'd like to be sponsored by your shop. Yeah, so would everybody else. I'll tell you what. 
Make me a sponsor me video. Show me what makes you different than Bobby B down the street, okay? And please don't hand me anything from the same old spots in New Jersey, dude, because I've seen it all. Done. No local spots and different tricks. Dude, I just talked to Stacy Peralta. They know. Th those gangsters know it was me. What are you talking about? When I got back to my house last night, they were parked outside waiting for me. I, I, I gotta get the hell out of here. My cousin's got a place in New York. You've gotta help me get to the train station across the river. Man, what a chapter. I mean, we gained recognition from Stacy Peralta and his team. We got some gear stolen from the shop by those pesky Elm Street dealers who have been quite the handful thus far. But Eric Sparrow, in his infinite wisdom, decided to escalate the situation further by lighting a very expensive looking vehicle on fire. Yeah, and if that wasn't bad enough, now we're guilty by association with this douchebag, and we gotta help him and ourselves get out of New Jersey to uh, Manhattan. So please stay tuned for future parts. This is Silent signing out.